remember how I told you that you could use this wrap to keep them super calm and comfortable while they were laying down, so much so that if you had this arm free, you could kind of do this and lay them on their side. I'm gonna go over um, cushions and stuff with you when I can talk with you on the phone again, but I just wanted to show you this while we still had the swaddle and the baby had not been dismantled yet. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this wrap with this hand out. Now, if the baby is really fussy, you kind of keep that hand tucked in and you kind of go like this and you can do it the same way. If you can get the hand underneath, it's really good. Um, what you want to do is anytime that you're doing any kind of posing, always secure the neck of the baby. So you don't want him flopping around or doing anything kind of um, dangerous. But if you're laying down like this and the hand is like this, all of that tucking that you did to wrap the baby in place, what you do is you are gently unfolding. Now, if the baby starts wiggling and is not asleep, you kind of do the same thing. You do a little bit, you do a little wrap, you keep the place of all the different parts and you go like this. And the way that you did, it's almost like peeling back an onion. You kind of do a little bit at a time. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Now, their legs are most likely crossed in a beautiful way. And you can come and you can gently start taking this up. If they are calm, this hand might be here, but you can again play with how this arm will go. You can put it down underneath the chin. You go back to holding the feet in a tight place so that they're still like this. And what you do is you push down on the cushion to pull the wrap out. Voila! If your baby is super comfortable and sort of relaxed in this position, this is a very good doll. Um, also things that you can do is you can really do a push down on the pillow underneath and a scoop up like this because then they're nice and tight and tucked. And you can just hold the baby like this. Tell your husband to come around from the side to give you a hug on this side and then you can hold the other baby and you can have a nice little family photo just like that. All done. Okay, so my best trick would say to get a good pillow to go underneath whatever blanket it is you're using for a sideways newborn pose because under the blanket it looks like this. The baby's butt is lower, the head is up, and they're leaning on something that's a little bit sturdier. You don't want to use, yes, I do have shapes taped to my floor to teach my toddler shapes. Okay, so um, the, um, the point is that the pressure on the bottom part of the baby is helping keep the legs folded, whereas the head's stays upright and secure. You also want to make sure that you're not going to roll back and forth. So if you want to stuff an extra sock or something behind the baby, that really helps. That way they are in a nice comfortable position. Now, you're not going to necessarily photograph the baby like this because you're going to be able to see the big divot in the blanket. So the best thing that you can do is kind of come up and over the baby just a little bit more so that the angle on the baby is really adorable.